It is fish based, but it has everything that they need nutritionally right in that small compact pellet. So again, it might look like a small meal for these alligators, but they won't naturally be gorging themselves all the time. Alligators are very opportunistic eaters. They're going to eat whatever they can get whenever they can get it. Not to mention being cold-blooded reptiles, they don't have to eat nearly as much food as you think. People would always often ask us if we feed out whole cows or things like that. That is just not the case. Being a reptile, they don't require nearly as much food as a warm-blooded mammal. So the alligators that we have here actually just eat twice a week, and it is a very similar amount to what you're seeing here today. Yeah, it's not a whole lot. <laughs> Again, it's the whole warm-blooded versus cold-blooded thing. Also, alligators are very energy conscious, which means they only move when they absolutely have to. During the day, you might see them laying out in the sun or basking, trying to warm their body up. And then at nighttime is when they start moving around a lot more. But still, they really like to just uh, conserve as much energy as possible, especially wild alligators, because they never know when their next meal is going to be. So the less they can move, the better. Now, we do also feed our alligators whole prey items. And when I say whole prey items, I mean just that. So we will give them whole rodents or whole quail or whole chicks. And when I say that, I mean feet, feather, beaks, everything all at the same time. And that's just because it does resemble their wild diet a little more closely. Plus it is very enriching for them to be able to chomp down on something like that and be able to use their teeth and their jaw bones to crush up those prey items. So it is very enriching for our alligators. Now another thing about the alligator senses is they can detect when the, if they miss a prey item, if we toss a rat to them and they don't catch it right off the bat and it sinks to the bottom, they are still able to, to detect it underwater and they can grab that, find it later, and they'll eat it whenever they get a chance to. So it is um, kind of common to see alligators in a group like this. I wouldn't say too common, but you can possibly see one male with a few different females surrounding him. So they will establish, the males will establish a territory, and they will fight and defend that territory against other males. But they will, however, allow females to come and live on that territory with them. One alligator male can have about three females. Now on the male's territory, the female will establish their own 